Hey guys, in this After Effects tutorial, we will create a modern and trendy Instagram post animation in After Effects. We will learn various different techniques throughout the tutorial, so make sure you watch the video till the end. Also, if you guys like this kind of post animations and want more, then you can check out the Scarlet Instagram post template from Mixtown. He has a very unique style and all his products are top notch in terms of design and animation. To know more about it, make sure to check out the link in the description below. So with that said, let's jump into After Effects and let's see how to create some cool Instagram post animations. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's set the width to 1080 and height to 1350. I'll call this render as our final render comp. And let's make this 30 FPS and 10 seconds long hit. Okay. So here we have our main render comp. Let's create a placeholder compositions for our images so we can Again, create a new comp. I'll call this image underscore O1. Hit OK. And then duplicate this by hitting Ctrl D. So now we have image 2. And then we can just drag and drop in our images. So in the image 1, I will drop in my first image. You can, of course, use any image that you want. I just downloaded these images from Unsplash. And for image 2, I'll drag this one just like so. Pretty nice. Let's go back into our render comp. Now I'm going to create a revealing mat for our images using the ink footage that I have right over here. And uh, by the way, you can download the free project file from the link in the description below. All the assets are included in the project file so you can follow along. So I'm going to create a new composition again called this mat and hit OK. Let's drag and drop in our ink footage, which looks something like this. Now it's a bit slow for the video. So what I'm going to do is select it, right click, go into time, enable time remapping, and then I'm going to hit control K and let's increase the duration of our composition for the movement. So I'm going to make it 30 seconds so we can find the last keyframe and move that keyframe to two seconds. I'm going to jump to two seconds. And let's move this right over here, just like so. So now we have a nice ink footage. As you can see, it looks pretty nice. We can select it, hit F9, go into the graph editor and right click and select edit speed graph. And let's pull this to the left. So now we have a subtle end to our ink animation. Pretty nice. I can hit Ctrl K again and let's bring that down again back to 10 seconds. Now I want to invert this ink footage. So to do that, I'm going to use an invert effect. So go into effects and preset, type in invert, double click. There we go. And also I'm going to change the blending mode to add. All right. Now I'm going to create a nice mat using some duplicates of this ink footage. So I'm going to place this one right here. We can hit S, scale that down a bit. Hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Let's place one right over here. I can also rotate it. So we get a nice variation. We can bring down the scale a bit. So basically, I'm going to duplicate it. Scale this up, rotate it. In the same exact process. And finally, one right over your small one. Something like that. So now we have something which looks like this. We increase the size of this one a bit. We can also add a little bit of randomness so I can displace them by like five frames or something. So we have a little bit of randomness as you can see. And there we have our mat is ready. We can turn off the audio. We don't need that. Let's go back into our main render comp. Let's drag and drop in our image one composition and animate this. So I'll go to one second. 
select the comp hit p to bring down the position create a keyframe go back and pull this down just like so also i want to create an animation on the scale property so we can hit s create a keyframe on the scale property let's increase this to around 130 and go to two seconds and let's bring that down to 100 we can hit u to see all the keyframes i'm going to just overlap this a bit maybe something like that let's keep it around 115 there we go so now we have an in animation now obviously because we increase the scale we can pull this down a bit more so we have something like this i think it's a bit too fast the scale animation i wanted to start at around 20 frames so i can drag this keyframe right here okay so it looks pretty weird at the moment but we're gonna fix this so let's select the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph editor and i'm gonna create a peak into the center so i can select this drag the handle just like so this one and drag the handle like so same for the scale create a peak into the center And by the way, if your graph editor doesn't look like this, make sure you right click and select edit speed graph. So now let's see what we have. Pretty nice and snappy. There we go. At the end, I want, I want to keep the scale animation at around 110, I think. And then what I can do is select the image, go into effects and preset and add a transform. So this is gonna give us one more property for every um, you know like position scale rotation skew etc so we have two properties to control now so what i can do is go to at, a, at around one second and 10 frames so right over here at one second and 10 frames i'm going to set this to one one ten create a keyframe go to three seconds and set this to 100 all right i can hit u and actually easy ease this keyframes by hitting f9 so now it you know snaps in and then it slowly moves just like that so i think it's a bit too fast so i'll set this to 105 so we have this nice subtle movement as you can see pretty cool maybe i'll move the position a bit down so that it doesn't show up in a frame yep that is what i am going for pretty nice so right over here at one second and 20 frames I can add my second image so I'll place this one just like that and again and again I can add a transform property on this one create a keyframe on the scale property let's set this to around 105 go to around four seconds probably and set this to 100 so we have a subtle uh, movement you know like something like that all right now let's drag and drop in our matte composition on the top so there we go there we have it looks pretty weird at the moment but now what i'm going to do is select the image too and change the track mat of this and if if in case you don't see the track mat option you can hit f4 on the keyboard that should make it visible so i'll select this and change this to luma matte and now boom there we have a very nice reveal as you can see It looks pretty nice also one more thing that i can do is select this hit u and set the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph editor and basically pull this out to the left just like so so we have a nice subtle animation now this is a very minor things but plays a very important role when we are creating something professional so so far so good let's create a text animation now so i'm going to create a new composition call this text for text animation hit ok and then you can type in of course anything that you want so i'm going to select the text tool and type in let's say it's my youtube channel with the name super wipes so i'll type in super wipes and um, by the way i'm using the morganite font i have mentioned the link in the description below if you want to use the same exact font and then drag and drop in the transform property on the text and skew this up by minus five and let's hide this for now 
and create our text animation so i'll jump into this go into animate and add an opacity and add a scaling property to this let's bring down the opacity to zero but before that let's increase the scale up to 400 and let's see what we get all right that is fine let's set the opacity to zero go into the range selector i'll make some room right here so you guys can see it more properly and then i'm gonna set the offset all the way up to minus 100 let's go into the advanced properties and set this to ramp up set the n is high to minus 100 and is low to all the way up to 100 percent and let's create a keyframe on the offset go to one second and let's bring that up to 100 so now we have a pretty cool looking animation as you can see yep that is a bit too fast so maybe one second and 15 frames would be fine and also turn on the skew now so we have this really nice look let's select it hit ctrl d to duplicate it pull this below pull this below just like that and i'm going to type in youtube channel and just to add a bit of uh, randomness or difference i can switch this to stroke and let's keep it a stroke of two it's a bit too low maybe five a bit too much four is the sweet spot and yep one more thing that i want to do is increase the spacing a little bit not much just touch so that is looking pretty good and then i can just uh, displace this by around let's say um like five frames or something six frames and that looks pretty good all right so our text animation is ready to roll let's go back into our render comp and drag and drop in our text composition i'm going to place it right over here when the trackman animation starts maybe around to a bit more like Two second 15 frames should be a nice spot yep and let's move it a bit low just like that and scale this down a bit so around something like 85 looks good and turn on the collapse transformation so that the text doesn't get cropped while animating now to make it a bit more readable or visible i'm gonna add a nice a dark fade effect kind of a thing you can call it so hit ctrl y to create a new solid call this and overlay and let's select the rectangle tool and i'm going to create a mask just like so let's invert this and hit f to feather this up just like that and maybe i'll increase the size and adjust it and put this right here and put this over the image but below the text i can i guess increase the feather amount a bit more and that is actually looking pretty nice so what i can do is animate this with an uh, position so i'll select this hit p create a keyframe on the position go back and pull this all the way out just like that select it and hit f9 and then go into the graph editor and the same exact process so now we have this nice fade as you can see looks um, pretty good now you can go ahead and add some more details if you want to once you get the idea of how we create a nice post animation you can add your own text you can add your own um, thing you can add you can talk about your product you can talk about various different things using this cool style so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this after effects tutorial and if you did make sure you subscribe comment and like this video also if you want to check out some more of these cool animation styles then check out the scarlet template from mixdown link is in the description below so i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative